Hey everyone. Um, all right, so there were a lot of you that wanted to continue for five weeks, maybe the whole one, month of December, or maybe just a second week. Um, some of you had a rough uh, go of it last week, coming off of Thanksgiving. So I know that um, if you want to continue, there were always going to be bumps in the road. Uh oh, keeps disconnecting, but it looks like I'm back on. So, um, so here's the thing. Sama Sitihi in yoga, you know how when you do your sun salutation and you start at the front edge of your mat and you start with a breath in and a dive forward and all of that, that pose, that mountain pose, that um, stepping to the front of your mat and taking a sun breath, that is Sama Sitihi. That means transitions begin again. Because you know how when you're doing sun salutations, it's repetitive, you do it over and over again. Sama Sitihi, begin again, begin again, each and every time you go through. And that's the same exact thing in our lives, isn't it? So even if you did amazing last week um, and you were rock solid with your eating and your yoga um, and your self-care, you've got to begin again. Um, even if you weren't rock solid last week, maybe you struggled a little bit, maybe you didn't have time to make the recipes, um, you still have to begin again. Each and every day we have to begin again, we have to start over. And I struggle with it too. I know people look at me and they think, oh, you're so, you know, you got it together with your nutrition. No, I'm struggling all the time with you, I swear. So um, so anyway, today, so I, I let my guard down completely over the weekend. And um, Monday, yesterday for me was um, a really pretty hectic day. And so I didn't eat really well. I was on the go all day, it was sort of like, you know, kind of car nutrition. <laughs> and I didn't really pack ahead like I had planned to, although I did do my um, pumpkin smoothie for the car. So that was one really good thing. And I had lots of water, which is, you know, also a great thing. But aside from that, it was not the best nutrition day or self-care day or exercise day. I accomplished a lot of other really good things, um, which I'm proud of and happy about. But you know what? You can't do it all every single day. So today, right now, it's getting to be lunchtime. Um, I had a really busy morning, and I'm going to be doing a lot of like sort of office work, computer work later today. So I was like, you know what? Time out. Because <laughs> sometimes you just have to call a time out. I know that if I keep at the pace that I am right now, I'm not going to eat well again today or probably for the next few days. So what I'm doing is I'm consciously taking a time out and I'm for the next hour cooking. And so I didn't have, you know, for the recipes, um, it was the carrot ginger soup in your recipes. And so um, I don't have carrots. So what I'm doing is I'm substituting a huge squash that I needed to use anyway. So I'm making a squash, sweet potato, ginger, kind of Thai soup. Because anytime you do like coconut milk, and ginger, it sort of makes it tie. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I am, I don't know how well you can see, but cooking up right now um, some garlic, onions, sweet potatoes, um, and uh, celery. So I'm just gonna saute that. And for the morning, I have been cooking um, squash in a big crock pot over here. So I'll just pick you up just for a second and see. All I did early this morning is cut up a whole bunch of squash put it in the crock pot is already like good to go um, and then once I'm done sauteing all of these veggies again it's just celery no carrots sorry I, I wish I had carrots sweet potatoes um, onions garlic you know the good thing about soups is you don't have to be perfect with it um, it's not like baking where it has to be sort of like the science to make it work soups you can just sort of wing it it with um, depending on what you have on your house in your house so that's what I'm gonna do I um, also I'm putting ginger in it so I really I'm out of ginger I just ordered new ginger oil I have a little tiny bit of ginger oil you can use fresh ginger I really like to use a ginger oil because it's just faster a couple drops of the ginger essential oil smells really good great for your digestion as well um, or uh, fresh ginger you can grate that up peel it grate it it takes a little bit longer but you know do what you will. So, um, yesterday, if you guys didn't get to see, um, I got to do a little guest appearance at Believe Big yesterday, <clears throat> which is an organization that's really close to my heart. It's a friend of mine who was, um, years ago when she was in her 30s, mid to early 30s, healthy girl. 
Um, mother of four, amazing human being. She was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer and given an 8% chance to live. And of course, as you can imagine, and maybe some of you have been through this, um, where you have a friend or a loved one that's given this diagnosis and you just are horrified, like how could this happen? This person that's really healthy and amazing, like what, you know, why and all of that. Um, so she not only survived, <laughs> She is thriving, amazing. Now she has incorporated so many um, health changes in her life. She was always exercising and fit and all of that, but she, do, she does a lot of additional things, mostly dietary. And um, so the organization is called Believe Big. If you didn't get a chance to see the interview that I had with her yesterday, I did post it to our page. Um, and you can also check out believebig.org. I always tell everyone, if you or anyone you love ever gets the diagnosis of cancer, um, check out Believe Big because it's not just you, the person that gets cancer, right? It's the whole family that's sort of dealing with the cancer. And there's so much that you can do in addition to surgery, removing a tumor, um, chemotherapy, radiation, that's sort of the things that you sort of think about when you think of a cancer diagnosis and recovery. There are so much that you can do dietary wise, self care wise, exercise wise. Um, that's available to us and one of those is mistletoe therapy time timely for for christmas um, mistletoe actual mistletoe they extract the essence of that and inject it into the cancer patient it reduces tumor size um, helps them with all of the side effects of chemotherapy and radiation so um and it's been available in europe for i, I forget how long i want to say like 50 years or something like that but of course in the united states you haven't even heard of it no one even knows what it is um, it's been working for cancer patients for a very long time in, in Europe, and we have it available to us um, here in the United States as well. Um, so I just wanted to mention this quote because I had a couple things on my mind yesterday um, during the uh, talk or preparing for the talk that I was doing for Believe Big. And the talk was really about self-care tips, very much what we've been working on here um, during the challenge self-care tips um, to stay healthy and keep your immune system strong through the holidays. That's what my talk was yesterday. We talked a lot about essential oils, specifically frankincense, um, on guard oil, um, which I use. I use these oils every single day right now. But what I wanted to mention is a quote that I came across as I was preparing and to sort of getting myself um, why this organization Believe Big means so much to me. Because cancer, what we're doing here, this self-care and this dietary stuff, this isn't, I, I say this all the time, it's not about weight loss, is it? I mean, it might be. And that's a wonderful side effect because you wanna lose weight and feel healthy and have good energy and feel good in your clothes and feel confident and all of that is so, so, so important because we are here on this planet to be the best um, that we can be so that we can do everything that we're supposed to do. But the other really important thing that we have to always remember is, you know, cancer prevention um, and all disease prevention, diabetes, high blood pressure, um, you know, every chronic disease that we have, we're trying to prevent that. And weight loss is a side effect and increased energy is a side effect and boosting your immune immunity um, so that you aren't getting the colds and the flus as frequently. Those are all incredible side effects. Um, and so, but I, I want to just mention too, because I came across this quote, and, and for those of you who sort of know my story about having Hashimoto's and Lyme disease and the struggles that I went through and why I'm here with you right now, is because I had a lot of health issues myself. The only reason I'm a health coach and the only reason I care so much to help other people is because I myself struggled so much. So the quote is this, and this is, is this is, describes Ivelisse Page from Believe Big to a T. God often uses our deepest pain as the launching pad of our greatest calling. That's it. Like, why we often have these challenges and these struggles and we think, why me? Why am I sick? Why don't I feel good? Your body is talking to you. I, it makes me like a, I'm getting a little bit tiny emotional, I will admit. We, I did it for so long. Oh my gosh, I took bottles and bottles 
of Advil and Excedrin. I still have one bottle of Excedrin in my little medicine chest up here. Um, Uh-oh, doggy playtime is on. So, you know, before I learned to listen to my body, I just lived off of coffee, sugar, and Advil and Excedrin. Because I was in so much pain, chronic migraines, chronic muscle pain, um, chronic fatigue, it was horrible. It was truly like horrible and I really really in my mind thought that I would never ever feel good again <laughs> if we could just bottle what the doggies have um, and and so that's just the thing like we need to just listen to our bodies and so that's um, an opportunity for you to just contemplate you know we're sort of wrapping up the end of this year and looking forward to 2018 very soon it's my birth December is my birthday month too so I'm always very extra sort of contemplative like where am I going next um, this year for me was all about launching these online programs with you all and connecting with other people and giving a lot of free information away because um, that's how we can help, you know, the ripple effect. The ripple effect is, you know, I'm healthier now, I feel better now, I still walk a fine line. I'm, you know, I'm definitely at any given time, if I don't take care of myself, going to fall off the wagon and be back to where I was a couple years ago. But, um... You can't see what's happening right now, but there's a racetrack happening. They're on the floor racetracking. <laughs> that's if you if you hear them, that's what's happening. Three dogs, woo! Um, anyway, I just wanted to mention all that to you because I know if you are struggling right now, I hear you, I feel your pain, I've been there, done that, and I want you to know, take a time out, listen to your body, and remember that your body's amazing and it's just trying to communicate to you how to take better care of it, okay? Carve out it, take a time out, take a hot bath. <laughs> take, you know, the time to chop up some vegetables and make the pumpkin smoothie or make the soup. Um, do what you need to do to take good care of you. Put your, as the um, saying goes, when you get in an airplane, we all know the saying. What do the, what do the airline steward, um, the airline attendants, you, you shouldn't say stewardess anymore, right? They say, put your oxygen mask on first. Why is that? The reason why is because if you don't put your mask on first, you're gonna pass out, you're gonna be of no good to anybody else. How are you gonna help your husband, your kids, the woman across the aisle from you? How are you gonna help anybody else if you're no good? So it's the same exact thing. Put your oxygen mask on first, practice your self-care, and your holiday season would be so much better because of it. So that's a wrap. Um, I'm going to try to jump on a few times. Listen, you guys, like I'm really busy right now too. I love doing all this. I'm trying the best that I can to practice my own self-care this week because that's my intention. Again, I'm not good for my clients unless I'm good. <laughs> so that's my goal. I will hop on when I can. If you have any questions whatsoever, comment, post, share. Um, we will do the drawing at the end of this week, so I'm seeing your posts. When you post them, just continue to tag Flexible Warrior, either Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, Flexible Warrior, and I'll see that, and we'll do a drawing on Friday. But practice your self-care, carve out your time, um, take care of yourself. You know, this, this soup right here, super high in antioxidants like beta carotene, um, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, oh, not, not vitamin D, vitamin E, I want to say. Um, and so these nutrient dense um, soups, smoothies, salads, amazing. So good for your immune system. So keep doing that um, and um, get your B vitamins too because I think carrots, um, celery, or sorry, carrots, um, sweet potatoes, and squash are all really high in B vitamins too. And um, that's good for energy. Okay, smile and um, practice your self care. The light within me honors and acknowledges that same light with this within each and every one of you. Thank you so much for continuing on and namaste. I'll see you later in the week. Bye.